Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good Monday morning. Utah time is currently 613. So far, it has been a calm and comfortable start to the work week. Here's the current view from Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. Currently sitting in black and white, but as soon as that gets the full color of the off the horizon, that is going to be a beautiful sunrise out there this morning. Just enough cloud coverage to paint a really pretty picture as we look at the cliffs reflecting off the calm Colorado River. Here's the current view from Deer Valley looking down towards Jordanelle Reservoir. Not a cloud in the sky, and that is going to be a beautiful sunrise out there this morning on what I mentioned is a comfortable start. Most of us beginning in the 50s and 60s as we currently sit at 69 degrees in Salt Lake and 69 degrees in Moab while we're in the 50s in both Logan and Park City. St. George leading the way coming in at 71 degrees currently. As we go from this morning into the afternoon, our temperatures will be warming up rather quickly. After a pleasant start to the morning along the Wasatch Front with temperatures mainly starting off in the 70s. By the time we get to 9 o'clock, we'll be in the 80s by your lunch hour. All for those temperatures to climb into the low 90s by the heart of the afternoon, which is roughly 5 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. Most spots across the state today will see daytime highs checking in in the 80s and 90s, which for most again is 5 degrees above where we should be for this time of year, but we'll go ahead and zoom things in here so you can see your daytime high today and your overnight low tonight. For today, we'll see that daytime high top at a 93 in Salt Lake. We'll get to 87 in Tooele, a daytime high climbing into the 80s for the Wasatch back, 87 for Roosevelt, and the daytime high of 79 in Manila. Then down in central Utah, it's 97 for Green River and 97 in Castledale. While we get to 88 in Gunnison and 90 in Oak City, then down in southern Utah, we'll top out at 88 in Blanding, 90 in Escalante, 82 in Bryce Canyon, a great day to go check out the hoodoos and a daytime high climbing to 103 in St. George. There won't be much cooling you down from anything coming from the sky. There's only a slim chance of seeing any wet weather in the northeastern corner of our area, mainly for the Uintas, the northern Uinta Basin, and southwestern Wyoming. For everyone else, it's just mostly sunny skies as we go through today, and we'll show you that here on the future cast. Really not much to see once we get into the heart of the afternoon into tonight. It's mostly clear skies with overnight lows very similar to what we're waking up to this morning. And then for our Tuesday, it's mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Once again, maybe a few showers in the northeastern half of our area. The difference tomorrow, though, is that it's going to be a little bit warmer and it's going to be windier as well, especially in the northern portion of the state as a system brushes by to our north. And you'll see those daytime highs tomorrow going to be roughly 10 degrees above our seasonal average and there is a chance tomorrow that we're challenging the record high for tomorrow which is 90 or which is getting close to 99 degrees of the daytime high tomorrow climbing to 98 then for Wednesday Thursday and Friday those daytime highs will be a little bit closer to where they should be for this time of year. Let's go ahead and walk you through it here on the moisture tracker. High pressure in control of our weather for right now, and that will continue to be the case through the middle of the week, and you can see that system brushing by by Wednesday, and then by Thursday into Friday with that high pressure continuing to move to the east, we introduce more of a southerly flow, and that will start to bring back the moisture. So for the second half of this work week, we'll see that increasing moisture with daytime highs closer to where they should be for this time of year. For today, tomorrow, and for Wednesday, though, we'll be rather toasty across the state and even getting close to our record high in St. George for our Tuesday. Then from Thursday through the weekend, it's at least a chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, highs around 90 with overnight lows close to 70. Along the Wasatch Front, low to, low to mid 90s for today, and then mid to upper 90s for our Tuesday, coming in very close to that record high tomorrow. Then for Wednesday and Thursday, upper 80s to around 90 degrees. And then we'll have the chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with daytime highs settling more so in the mid to upper 80s, with overnight lows more so in the mid to upper 60s. Now let's go ahead and check the traffic out there. How we looking right now, Sarah. Well